Hi friends. More and more I get asked about what foods to eat for best brain health. And what I've realized is that different people mean different things when they ask that question. So some people are asking about brain fog and mental clarity and cognition and memory. And then some people are asking about preventing long-term neurodegenerative conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and some people are asking about mood and boosting those happy hormones in our brain and relieving anxiety and depression and things like that. And so I decided to go deep. I did what I do best and dove into the research. And this led me to a lot of different books. I read Brain Maker by David Perlmutter. I read one of my favorite all-time books, Genius Foods by Max Lugavier. I read, of course, Food, What the Heck Should I Eat by Dr. Mark Hyman. And then this isn't great for YouTube, but I left this one in my office. Dr. Uma Naidu is a wonderful Harvard uh, nutritionist, chef, and medical doctor. Her book, This Is Your Brain on Food, An Indispensable Guide to the Surprising Foods That Fight Depression, Anxiety, PTSD, OCD, ADHD, and more. And what did I find? The foods that they were recommending, whether it was brain fog, overall health, anxiety and depression, do, long-term disease prevention, they were all the same. So I went back to PubMed this time, dove through the studies, saw what I could find, found the research behind every single one of these foods. And what I'm gonna do for you today is cut through all of that so you don't have to do the research and give you the top 10 foods for your brain health, for brain fog and mental clarity, for preventing long-term conditions, and for maintaining optimal mood. Are you ready? Let's dive in, but before we do, don't forget to hit subscribe on this channel and like this video to show your support. I really appreciate that and it'll make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, what do you think is the number one food that I'm going to recommend for brain health? Those of you who know me probably have a guess and it is dark leafy greens. I have here my head of bok choy that I'm going to be cooking with in a day or two. This is a wonderful and underappreciated leafy green. We've got spinach, we've got kale, we've got arugula, mixed greens, any kind of dark leafy greens you can get your hands on and get into your body will support your brain health. They have so many vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients. They're loaded with folate, which is great, great for your brain health. Magnesium, one of my favorite minerals. They have sulforaphane, they have fiber. These are nutrient powerhouses for your brain. So number one, leafy greens. Number two, everyone's favorite, except those weirdos of you who just don't like avocados. Number two is avocados. We know that avocados are a source of healthy fat. They're so supportive for our blood sugar, for our hormones even, for satiety and feeling full. But did you know these are one of the superfoods for your brain health. Number three, berries. These are organic blueberries, my very favorite berry of all of them. But because berries are so dark, we know they're rich in phytochemicals and phytonutrients and antioxidants. The darker colored fruit and vegetable, oftentimes the more phytonutrients they have in them. Blueberries in particular are just uh, nature's superfood in terms of antioxidants. They are one of the highest antioxidant containing foods out there. They have been shown to, a, uh, to slow the effects of aging on your brain, blueberries in particular, and increase memory. On, in the Nurses Health Study, the brains of those who ate berries looked 2.5 years younger than those who didn't. So just by eating berries, these people's brains physically, physical structure of the brain changed to look 2.5 years younger. That's pretty amazing. All right, food number four is fish. I have here some wild caught salmon from Butcher Box, any kind of fish. In fact, the fattier fish, the better salmon, tuna, things like that. 
Any kind of fish though is great for your brain because of the omega-3 content in fish. Omega-3s help us reduce inflammation, which is caused by a variety of factors, everything from breathing pollution to feeling stress to exercising to eating inflammatory foods. We are walking balls of inflammation in today, in America today, and the omega-3s in fish will help us reduce that inflammation. In fact, uh, some studies have shown that people who ate more fish had reduced incidence of depression. So fish, another superfood for your brain. Number five, moving on to olive oil. Olive oil has been shown to reduce the incidence of Alzheimer's because it helps us clear amyloid plaque, which is kind of something that gums up the brain tissue uh, and causes some of these conditions. Olive oil can help us clear, flush out that amyloid plaque. Now, olive oil also has antioxidants, it has polyphenols. These can re reverse age-related decline, age-related disease, um, things like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, things like that, even just slowed memory or reduced memory as we get older. So load up on that olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is great for low heat cooking or drizzling over salads. For high heat cooking, you're gonna look to use a different oil. Food group number six is fermented foods. So I've got here some pickles, one of my favorite fermented foods, and this Kavita probiotic drink, which I like more than kombucha because there's very little sugar, two grams of added sugar versus a lot of kombuchas do have quite a bit. But any fermented food, if you tolerate dairy, a real yogurt can work here, kefir, miso, tempeh, any fermented food is going to be great for your brain because it's great for your gut. So what's the gut health, brain health connection? There's a physical connection, which is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve, it's not vagus like V-E-G-A-S, it's vagus like V-A-G-U-S. So what stays in, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, whatever, doesn't apply here. We're talking about the vagus nerve, which is a two-way connection between the gut and the brain. So the brain, is always telling your gut what's going on, but people miss the second part. The gut is telling your brain what's going on. This explains why we feel things like anxiety, like butterflies in our stomach, or fear like a pit in our stomach. Things like that are very connected. In fact, research shows that more messages go from your gut to your brain, your gut function and what's going on in your gut tells your brain how you should feel, versus the opposite. Serotonin, which you might've heard of as a happy hormone, it's a mood regulator. And we think of serotonin as something, a neurochemical that would be in our brain. But did you know that only 5% of your serotonin is made in your brain and 95% is made in your gut? So the more we can improve gut health, the more we improve brain health and fermented foods are a great way to do that. Food number seven, I'm gonna kind of admit a cheat here, which is I'm combining three powerful foods into one category, number seven, which is omega-3 superfoods. So we've already talked about fish, those kind of stand alone, but now we're talking about nuts. I have here Brazil nuts, which are really rich in selenium, which helps develop brain tissue and neurotransmitters, but walnuts are great. Any kind of nuts are great for your brain health. Seeds, I have here chia seeds, one of the omega-3 superstars, an absolutely powerful brain food. And I have eggs, whole eggs, because the choline in the yolk is really essential and the omega-3 fatty acids are in the yolk. So eggs, nuts, and seeds are the category of number seven, food number seven, omega-3 superfoods. Next up, we have spices. So I didn't wanna go over to my spice cabinet up there, which is totally full of spices and the spice rack you see over there and bring everything out for you. So I just selected two superfoods, turmeric and cinnamon. These two are wonderful for your brain, but as Dr. Uma Naidu would say, any spice that you can get is going to be a brain superfood. Spices are generally very high in antioxidants. They're very anti-inflammatory. Turmeric in particular is linked to a reduced incidence of depression. So spice up your food. Even if you don't like spicy like 
you know, hot peppery, any kind of spices, bagel, basil, oregano, rosemary, these are all brain superfoods as well. Food group number nine is another little cheat, but don't tell anyone. I'm doing it, I'm cheating for your benefit. These are dark colored vegetables. So the darker, the better. Broccoli in particular is a brain superfood. It almost kind of looks like a brain and you see on one of the books, yeah, Brain Maker, that's your broccoli right up there. Broccoli is a wonderful brain superfood. Red cabbage, because of the dark color, remember I said darkly colored, more antioxidants, more phytochemicals, and red cabbage in particular. This is like a baby little red cabbage. It's very cute, uh, but red cabbage is great for your brain. Red bell peppers, anything that's dark in color that's a vegetable is wonderful. Now, we've made it through nine, but you know what? The one that has the key to my heart is still coming up, and that is my favorite, dark chocolate. Is dark chocolate really a brain superfood? Yes, it is. And part of the benefit, I am sure, is just that it's so delicious and wonderful. But really, the flavanols, the nutrients in uh, cocoa and cacao, which is the root of dark chocolate, are absolutely wonderful for your brain. So load up on that dark chocolate and all of these 10 brain superfoods. Now let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite or which one of these are you committed to eating today? Not tomorrow, not next week, not the first of the month, not January 1st. Which of these are you committed to eating today? You're doing something great for your mood, for your cognition, for your long-term disease prevention, and you can feel proud of all of that. If feeling good about your health sounds like something that you need more of, I know I have the solution for you. I would love to bring you in, into the fold, into my Revitalize Health Accelerator, which is a wonderful community where we learn, we grow, we challenge ourselves, and we celebrate every single day. So you can sign up for a free chat with me if you just keep scrolling down. There's that link right there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Lion Share Wellness, so that you don't miss out on any more videos like this. Go out, get something healthy for your brain.